and welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 4. Alright, so, I have a few more things I need to get done today before we call it a day. For one thing, I kinda wanna go grab myself some Giantizer. Uh, so I can apply it to the carrots, so those should be ready tomorrow. Also, I did look it up. Unfortunately, we can't recruit the boss of a dungeon flower, or a field dungeon. So that's a shame. Oh well, this one just has the exact same boss, by the way. I'm pretty sure the boss is actually determined by the level of the dungeon. So we're not going to see another boss until we get this up to level 2. Speaking of level 2... Oh, speaking of dungeon flowers, there is one thing I forgot to show off. Uh, they pretty much act like trees in terms of material stone. So if you hit them with your hammer, you get free material stone. And it works exactly like trees. Basically, the more you hit them, the lower their health will go. And then you can just use, like, withered grass or four-leaf clovers to bring them back up. Actually, let me just double-check that this thing isn't close to death. No, they're fine. Yeah, they're perfectly fine. Perfect. Actually, you know what? Here's the thing, there's still flowers. So, if we say, cut it, we get ourselves a level 2. Oh, material stone. We get ourselves a level 2 dungeon seed. So, I'm pretty much going to see if I can get myself 4 level 10 dungeon seeds. One second, let me put that down for a second. My inventory is full. I should fix that. Put you down. There we go. Right, inventory is still full. Uh, oh, I have a way to fix this. I should plant these seeds I've been carrying around with me for some reason. I don't know why I have these seeds on me. Oh, actually, I know why. It's because I grabbed them when I was harvesting other crops. Anyways, let's get these planted. I'll get them watered. But yeah, pretty much dungeon, fla the, the, dungeon flowers pretty much act like any other crop. You can cut them down and increase the level of their seeds. So yeah, hopefully we can get ourselves a level 10 one soon. Alright, so let's get these watered. Oh wait, am I missing one? No, we got them all. Oh wait, yeah, I did plant this for some reason. There we go. Uh, we will let that grow. Let's go grab ourselves some Giantizer, get those carrots up. It should be ready soon. And then after that, I might try to go recruit the second boss. The thing is, I might need more carrots. I'm not sure how many carrots I'm going to get. Actually, I can just look it up right now. Oh, wait, no, I can't. They're not giant yet. But yeah, surprisingly, I didn't take that many to recruit the first boss. Maybe we'll get lucky again. That being said, I'm going to save before I recruit him. Just in case I waste all my carrots. Oh, there's actually one more boss we could technically recruit now. Uh, we can recruit, what's her face, uh, Marionetta, the third boss. For her thing, it's actually not crops. I'm pretty sure for her thing, we just need to give her cake. And I think I have like two or three cakes right now. One second, how many cake, how much cake do I have? Actually, can I make myself more cake? Oh wait, no, I think I gave away the other cake. Apple pie will work though. I think it's apple pie, any type of cake will work. Uh, do I have any other type of cake? I only have, like, one piece of cake and one apple pie. Can I make some? Whoops. I wasn't planning on recruiting this boss right now, but we might as well give it a try. Why not? Wait, that's right. I need more recipes. And I think I'm actually out of cooking bread. Oh, I should put this away. Yeah, I need to go buy myself some more cooking bread. Okay, I'll do that in a second. I'm not sure if my skill is high enough to make any of that stuff yet, though. But yeah, we'll give it a try later. I do have a piece- oh wait, no, I do have three pieces of cake. Okay, that might actually work then. Oh wait, do I have room in my barn for more monsters? If we're gonna make ourselves another field, we're also gonna build ourselves another barn, just so I'll have monsters to work there, but... How many mo how much room do I have? Oh, no, we have room for three more monsters. Okay, perfect. Oh, also, why am I not grabbing these? Give me that. But yeah, I'm not sure if my skill is high enough to gr uh, make cake yet. Or pie. Actually, I think apple pie is like one of the hardest things to make for some reason. Or maybe I'm misremembering it. Then again, we don't have that many apples, so that might be a problem. Alright, so let's grab ourselves some giantizer. Wait, right, inventory. One second. I 
keep forgetting that my inventory is like filled to capacity right now. Let's just put everything away. Everything I don't need goes into storage. Including all this food that I should probably uh, bring back out and eat at some point. Juice, I don't need that. Yeah, I have a lot of food on me from that last dungeon, weirdly enough. There was a lot of food in that forest. That forest that somehow reflects the current time of day. Which makes me think that, like, dungeon flowers aren't actual, like, dungeons themselves. It feels like they're portals to another area of the world where the dungeon is. Or maybe they were just kind of lazy with the lighting. Who knows? Welcome. Anyways, we'll buy one of these. Uh, is there anything else I want to grab? Not really. No, we're good. I'll probably double check my fertilizer later, but I think we're okay. Because I put a ton in there, like, the other day. Actually, how are we doing? 44. Yeah, we're good. We're gonna be good for a while. Alright, let's go grab some recipe bread. Oh, not very much cooking bread. Well, okay. I will grab three of them. Man, at the beginning of the game, I thought I would have enough without having to ever buy cooking bread. Then again, I did buy like three cooking implements in a single day, so my need for cooking bread kind of... Oh. Oh, that's right, we already maxed it out. Oh well. So we need to work on our cooking skills some more. That's fine. Hey, Dianus. Uh... Please never do that again. Anyways, I'm gonna go fertilize my crops and then go to bed and hope we don't have a nightmare about that. It's not that bad. He kind of looks okay when he smiles. Oh wait, actually, let me check one more thing. I forget, does uh, Porcaline sell like any type of cake? Because if he does, we can just go recruit the boss right now. Three is still kind of low. Pound? Uh, I don't think pound cake works. I think it has to be chocolate cake, normal cake, or something else. Oh, uh, cheesecake. I'm pretty sure pound cake doesn't work, but... I'm gonna buy one just in case. Anything else here good? No, not really. Okay. But yeah, I'll grind up my cooking skill at some point by uh, just cooking a ton of bread. Anyways, I think it's time for bed. Time to call it a day. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Why did nobody warn me about this? Uh... If someone had warned me of- No one in town mentioned a freaking hurricane. Uh, are these okay? These are, what, level one? I'll take them. Here, I'm gonna pick everything before it gets killed by the hurricane. Oh no, I did not prepare for this at all. Uh oh, my giant crops. No, 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 no. Okay, good. I'll take those. Four. That should be enough. All right, let's grab everything before it dies. Oh no. I don't have any wettable powder either, because I was not expecting a hurricane. Uh, okay. Okay, this is fine. Man, if we had known this was coming, I would have done some preparations by telling my townspeople to basically push the hurricane away. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. The defense on these things is horrible. Uh, if I can get myself some wet old powder, I might be able to save some stuff. Man! Oh no, this is probably gonna die. Actually, it's 36 defense. It might survive. But still, this sucks. Okay, we can we can work with this. I would reload a save and try to avoid this, but you know what? No. We're gonna work through this. And there's something else that actually is good about this hurricane. Well, Typhoon. Same thing. At least we can make some- wait, no, give me that. I don't want to sell that. At least we can make some money off this, but three carrots might be enough. I'll give it a try later. Maybe next episode. Oh, also...
So yeah, um, everyone's trying to resurrect Venti. Which might be a problem, considering how much, uh, how many runes that would take. But yeah, screw destiny and screw the rules of nature. We're bringing Venti back. Somehow. But yeah, uh, Venti doesn't want this, so she might have a... She might be a bit angry at us if we pulled it off. But yep. Yeah, Arc 3 is all about trying to get Venti back. And all the Guardians are pretty much in agreement on this. I said all the- yep, all the Guardians are in agreement. All right. We're bringing her back. Uh, can I join? I live here, but that's beside the point. But yep. We definitely want her to come home. Yeah, she's not exactly the best liar. Actually, no, she lied to everyone for a long time. She's not that bad of a liar. Well, except maybe to us. But yep, of course we're helping. So yeah, uh, here's the thing. How are we gonna pull this off? Oh right, there is still that gate to the Forest of Beginnings that we went through that one time. So yeah, this is the first part of the event where we found Dionysus and Amber talking. They were talking about a doorway to the uh, Forest of Beginnings. But unfortunately it won't open unless someone has the determination to basically force it open. Let's see, Leon and Barrett. Yeah, they were talking about the homing ring. Unfortunately we only had one homing ring and it's technically broken right now, and he can't make another one. So yeah, we can't use that. There's a spell that Earthmate, Earthmates can use to get into the forest. But yeah, this is all gonna lead us ba going back to the forest of beginnings. Hmm. How about Gate Reject? Sure, I exploded last time we did that, but still. Hey. I do like that Dylas is kind of the somewhat voice of reason right now. But yeah, sounds like they're not going to let us try it again. But, screw everyone else. That's true. But yeah, let's uh let's give this a try again. Also, I'm pretty sure Dylas will always say this, even if you're not, like, trying to go after him in a relationship. But yeah, if we're gonna be doing this, it's gonna take a bit of power. So yep, yeah, honestly, we're ready right now. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, that's true. She was waiting for quite a while, wasn't she? But yeah, we're ready. Fortunately, this won't actually involve, like, a battle or anything. We can just do it at any time. Yeah, I do like that everyone's basically coming together for this. So, let's uh, give this a try then. Yeah, that, uh, that went as well as I thought it would. Venti. But yep, yeah, we get to see what happened when we brought Amber back for the first time. Yeah, she erased everyone's memory so they wouldn't try to rescue her. Again. And then there was Dylas. Heh. <laughs> Even Venti knows that Dylas is grumpy. She erased his memories. But yep, Dallas is still lovable. Even with his, all his grumpy attitude. And we actually saw this scene, so... But yeah, we actually saw that one. That was the first time we actually saw her actively erasing memories. I do wonder if we learn more about her backstory through, like, her romance uh, event. And then, Leon scene. His memories weren't erased since he knows everything that happened. But yeah, this is how she knew to come get us. Hmm. <laughs> what? So yeah, this was when we got stuck in the land of beginnings since we had to give up our ring for Leon. Hey, she is my bestie, okay? <laughs> also, I forget if they ever mentioned how long they were guardians for. Probably centuries, judging by that sentence. Because I think Leon was the original guardian. And then this scene.
when we I had to say goodbye to Venti. And in the end, she didn't actually want to go, but she had to. Man, got how sad that scene was. But yeah, the spell kind of worked. Hey. We saw her memories, but uh, we still exploded. Hey. But yep, in the end she didn't want to go. She wanted to stay here with everyone. But yep, we're bringing her back, no matter what. Also, Divus, you're not too far off the mark of what we have to do. Oh, hey, Arthur. And Dionysus is crying. Or maybe he really does have a cold. It is the middle of a typhoon right now. Kaiser hasn't got a typhoon in fall, but yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Oh. So yeah, how do we open up the gate to the Forest of Beginnings? Oh, that's a... that's a Rune Sphere. So yeah, basically we need to use the rune spheres to break the rules of nature and bring her back to life. Sorry. Also, hi Kiel. What are you doing here anyways? But yeah, with that we can pretty much force open the gate. And yes, we're going. I'm fine, it was just a... <laughs> yes, Mr. Sniffle Nose. But yeah, we're taking the lead on this, like always. I mean, yeah, but I don't really see the logic behind that. So yeah, because we're an Earth mate, we need we're the only ones who can actually open up the gate. Also, eh, kind of busy. Now we're doing this. All right, so we got ourselves a Rune Sphere. Perfect. So now we basically just have to go uh do some dungeons. And by some dungeons, I mean two. This arc only consists of two dungeons, and one of them we've technically been to already. 
we need to head back to Leon Karnak. And actually complete it this time. Because, yeah, the last time we went there, technically we didn't do the actual dungeon. We only did, like, the uh, distorted version of it. Now we actually have to climb all the way to the top of the tower. Also, the town event should be done now. Yep, there we go. So, yeah, to get to the Forest of Beginnings, we need to head back to Leon Karnak. But we're not going to do that this time. We're going to do that next time. Honestly, my current equipment is probably good enough for this dungeon, but we'll just have to be careful. After Leon Karnak, though, is when R3 really begins. But we'll get to that when we get to it. So anyways, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 4. Oh, there's actually one more thing I can do in the during a typhoon, but I'll do that next time. So, till then.